I guess you're all aware that there are numerous different views where we can see the right heart. We can see it, of course, in a parasternal long axis view right here, but this is probably not a good view where you want to look at right ventricle function. In some patients, you will see that the right ventricle is dilated already in a parasternal long axis view, but this is not the ideal view. We can look at it in a short axis view. Now, this view is more important because we can look at the relationship to the left ventricle, look at the position of the septum, and at radial motion. The four-chamber view is probably the view we use most frequently. Here we can nicely assess both the radial and the longitudinal function, and then we see a little bit of the right ventricle also in an apical long axis view. Similar to the parasternal long axis view, this view is, however, not really ideal.